Egypt-Eritrea relations in the Horn's Twilight Zone. Hello and welcome to NewsFest Addis, your daily source of news bites locally, regionally, and internationally. In a recent development, Eritrean President Isaias Afwerki visited Cairo for a three-day official trip, responding to an invitation extended by Egypt's President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi. The warm reception set the stage for discussions aimed at strengthening bilateral ties. Within the ever-evolving diplomatic landscape of the Horn of Africa, the partnership between Cairo and Asmara holds profound implications for the peace and stability of the region. This news analysis aims to unravel the complexities of this situation, providing a thorough exploration. Stay engaged for a nuanced perspective. Prior to this, Egyptian Foreign Minister Sameh Shukri visited Eritrea, delivering an invitation from Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi to Eritrean President Esayas Afewerki. Subsequently, Esayas undertook a three-day official visit to Cairo. The interplay between these two nations unfolds against the backdrop of considerable consequences for the broader peace and stability of the Horn of Africa. Primarily, Esayas's visit aligns with the recent accord between Ethiopia and Somaliland, enabling Ethiopia access to 20 kilometers of Somaliland's coastline and a military base. This agreement has heightened tensions between Ethiopia and Somalia, fostering a fresh regional alliance involving Egypt, Eritrea, and Somalia. Furthermore, both Cairo and Asmara find themselves in opposition to Ethiopia, fostering an alliance against Addis Ababa. Persistent disputes over the equitable distribution of Neil water, exacerbated by the construction of the GERD, remain unresolved despite numerous negotiation attempts. In a recent development, Egypt officially withdrew from the GERD negotiations, asserting its right to defend its water and national security if threatened. Simultaneously, relations between Ethiopia and Eritrea soured following the cessation of hostilities agreement, marking the end of a devastating war in northern Ethiopia, where Eritrea supported the federal government. In this context, the warming relations between Asmara and Cairo are anticipated to revolve around containing Ethiopia by supporting proxies engaged in conflict with the federal government. Analysts posit that Egypt and Eritrea may attempt to instigate conflict in Somalia, using the Ethio-Somaliland port deal as a pretext. There are also contentions that Egypt, recognizing its diminished influence in the Horn of Africa, perceives an opportune moment to re-engage with the region. Acknowledging its fading influence, Cairo has been crafting a multi-dimensional strategy to reclaim its standing in the region. Illustrative instances include President el-Sisi's visit to Djibouti to stress the importance of a balanced legal agreement on the Nile Dam. In 2020, President el-Sisi became the first Egyptian president to visit South Sudan, cementing ties and signing a memorandum of understanding to enhance military cooperation. Similar military and security agreements were forged with Sudan and Great Lakes countries in East Africa. The shift in leadership in Somalia after the election has served as a pivotal moment for Egypt to reassert its influence in the waters off the Horn of Africa. The participation of Egypt's Prime Minister Mustafa Madbouli at the inauguration of the newly elected Somali President Hassan Sheikh Mohamud underscored Cairo's acknowledgement of the region's significance for its water and maritime interests. Cairo is presently courting Eritrea to join a coalition of powers with strained relationships with Ethiopia. The success of this containment strategy, where past attempts faltered, awaits revelation as time unfolds the outcome of these diplomatic maneuvers. This was our news analysis for the day. Make sure to join us for more.